I definitely am the centralized worship pastor for Mile High Vineyard, which is three locations. So the way we describe it is we're one church in multiple locations. And as somebody that oversees every single location, um, I think it's fun. It gives me opportunities to be in a big city like Denver, but in certain portions and parts of it. And the way it happens as far as logistically speaking, um, I have musicians at every site. They would call that location their church. And then, so I've got electric guitar players at our Arvada location. And then I've got electric guitar players at the Westminster location and so on and so forth. So I can't lead at every location every week, but I do make the rounds. And logistically speaking, it's... um, it's like a lot of different flavors of the city because what I get in downtown Denver and, my, and the people that serve at that church, there's a demographic, a, an age demographic, a, a mindset. They're more what we call hipster. <laughs> Do you guys have hipsters in the UK? Um, they're hipster and they're young and they're, they're, their outlook on life is very different than the like 40s to 50-year-olds in Westminster that are, that are family men, that are settled into their careers. They're more suburban. So even my emotional interactions with my teams is different. It gives me an opportunity to not be stuck in one niche all the time because I am, you know, I'm a 32 year old girl that is a little more hipster than conservative. And, you know, I could just get in my own little niche of people. Um, and then as far as the actual like teams go, it, it is juggling a lot. So you do have to have the type of personality where you're, you can be flexible because things are always changing. And there's always moments where the drummer you thought you were going to have at one location is now not able to. So do you just go without a drummer or do you call somebody from another location to come? And so there's these tensions in multi-site that, that you're asking your teams, can you be really fluid and flexible with me? Like, can you to respond to the need, but still, you know, have your site? Because my biggest value in worship is that people on our worship team are not just seen on the stage, that they're also known within just sitting in the congregation as part of the church. And so there's a rule, there's an unspoken rule that we have in our church uh, that, well, with worship that I don't want you serving more than half of the, so if there's four Sundays in a month, I really don't want you serving more than two because then you're able to just be a person in the church and not the drummer for that church or your, your identity doesn't become what you do in worship.